so in the previous class we discussed about like a how to build a kvm server so after installing all the packages this tp type the virtual manager this is opening the virtual machine manager so the next step how to create a virtual machine on the top of the kvm So we have the virtual machine manager is open. Now just you can go to the file menu. There you got some option name you can say new virtual machine. And we can able to create a virtual machine in different ways also there. While creating the virtual machine itself only it asking how we can able to install the operating system. We can able to install the operating system one way local install media meaning of this one local ISV image file or maybe the CD ROM or DVD or through network install through HTTP or FTP or NFS. Uh, the network install means, for example, we have the one server called the file server. It build on NFS. And it has all the ISMS files. And from this is a client, what you can do now, we can select like a network install, and then you can select the location where this ISMS files are there through network. Or we can we go for like a PXC boot, the pin through TFTP server, or we can import existing disk images also. Now in this method, I'm going to go for the first way, the local install the media. There's nothing but ISMS file at the CD-ROM. When you click on forward, so it's asking about the DVD. DVD is also there. If the DVD is mounted, we can go for the first option. But actually, I want to create a virtual machine for Windows 2003. See, why I'm using the Windows 2003 means it takes the less memory because your host basically has 4G memory only and less storage capacity. And that is the reason I'm going to use like Windows. So I'm going to go for the option name. You can say use the IS image file. You need to go to the browse. But actually, in this line of mission, I don't have the image files now. So the by default location for the image files, the var lib images. But I don't have the images. But in my base mission, the pen base mission means in my Windows mission, I have all my images are downloaded. And here I got the VMAS file for the Windows Server 2003. Just try to copy this one. Just right click and say copy and paste it here. Just I'm closing all these windows. Try to paste it, but the paste option is not highlighted because I didn't install the VMA tools in the Linux box. Then how we can copy now? So there is one of the way what you can do means will go for install the Win SCP. In the Windows mission, you can install the Win SCP. So I think Win SCP is not installed. I'm going to install the Win SCP. Win SCP download. So here the Win SCP is downloaded. So just I'm installing the Win SCP.
now just open the windows cp now and you can type the ip address of the linux machine which is a kvm server and username you can say root and the password say login now here i am going to copy this files and which place means under var directory so i'll go to the var directory let us example i'm going to create a, a new folder here new directory so it's called as is for files or is for images the default write permission is there then here you can see in my system in my downloads I have the file name you can say windows server 2003 right click and simply go to the upload it is some kind of comments only <coughs> Now the file is copied and the var directory the ISP images. Now what I will do means I'll go to the my virtual machine which is KVM server. And you can see the places, the computer and the var directory. We got the IS for images. So there you got IS for images file is there. Now next step what we'll do. Now open the virtual machine manager. Which I find manager. Now just to go to the file menu and create a new virtual machine. Now select the local install media IS image file and go to forward and use the IS image file. Now what you can do go to browse and here you can select the location browse local and where the files are available now. Now the location you can set the computer. And a var directory under ISP images, we have the file name is called as a Windows Server 2003 Server ISP file and save open. See what happened, you can see here is automatically selecting the operating system type also and version also. Whenever you can select the ISP image file, is automatically selecting all these things. So, no need to do anything, just you go to the forward. And how much memory you want to allocate for the virtual machine. So I'm going to allocate for the 1 GB or maybe you can go for the 512 MB also is sufficient for running of the virtual machine of 2003. 512 MB also is fine. And 1 CP is okay. Then go to forward. And the space how much you require. 8 GB is taking, maybe I'm going to provide the 5 GB and go to forward. See, the automatically the virtual machine name is become the Windows 2, uh, 2003 or 2K3 operating system and which uh, installation method and memory and storage. And just click on finish now and network selection also. Virtual network adapter default NAT and go to finish. And these things I'm going to explain in the next one how to create a bridge connection.
now it is going to install the os now automatically <laughs> Now to install the Windows OS, simply press enter and you got option name you can say press F8 to agree. So just I am pressing the F8 key to agree. Unpartition space is there, just press enter to continue. And better you can say format the partition using NTFS network file system and better you can go for the quick format. So after formatting it is going to copy in the files, it may be take some time and I am going to pass the video just to reduce the video size. So now it is copying the files and after copying the files it is going to restart. Now almost 98% is over. You can install the Windows 2008 also or maybe 2012 also. Other operating systems also you can install. But they take the more time and they will take the more memory. And that's why I use like a 2003. And you can go for enter to restart. Now automatically the installation start with the GUI mode. So I'll make it a full screen here. So it takes a lot of time here. Uh, what I can do is I'll pause the video. So just I'm pressing the next here. And you can type the any name here, the name of your full name. Or maybe you can type any name also, no problem. Then the company name. Then the license mode, you can see just will go for next. No need to do anything. And a computer name, whatever is required. For example, it will go for VM1. And if you require the administrator password, you can type the administrator password, but I'm not providing anything here. Says yes. and the time zone. And if you require, you can select it. And then it'll go for like install the network or drivers and go into searching for the network whatever network you require you will go for like a dynamic ip or the static ip dynamic ip means is automatically supplied by the dscp server a static means manually you need to come to the ip address and here you can see the ip address settings i'm going for typically the pins from dscp server from automatic way and go to next and I am not connecting to any domain and just one group only the remaining things it takes some lot of time so still is installing it takes some more time now the OS is installed in the particular system now The VM is ready now.
maybe to install this one it may be take like a 25 to 30 minutes as well so to ask like a control delete now what you can do is send a key you can send a key control or delete now So you are given any password, just click on OK. And this is a way of uh, like uh, how we can enable to install the guest operating system and uh, creating the virtual machine on the KVM. The guest operating system is the voice which is going to install in the virtual machine. It's called a guest operating system. So we install the guest operating system called as a Windows Server 2003 on top of the VM.